Well, I mean, I'll frame this before I give you a specific use case around the thought of it not just being an assistant anymore, but actually like a co-pilot. If you think about the cockpit here, we're thinking about how someone next to you might do more for you, both when you ask them or proactively when they see an opportunity to do that. So some of the examples here you might come up with, the ones that are resonating the most with people are things that have to do with safety. And I'll actually point to one of my earliest studies in this space, looking at what would happen if you're about to be in a collision and the car is doing something, in this case, we'll say reading a text message to you, and it detects that's happening, where it can do something like play an alarm, stop the message, let the driver kind of take a deep breath and recuperate and go, all right, you know, let's, let's try that again. Um, and if you start looking at anything with safety or the maintenance and well-being of a car, people for quite a while have started to go, okay, this is more and more of what I expect. But where you're seeing even more of a shift now is where, well, wait a minute, what about the things that are more about my entertainment or my comfort or making my drive more convenient? And that's where you're seeing things more along the lines of where you would uh, offer to adjust the temperature in the car because you notice them shivering or notice that the temperature is just colder than you know that this person typically keeps it.